hey friends welcome or welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome my name is Shadavia and this is Oshi Budgets where I talk about all things money budgeting and savings related on my channel you will see things like budget with me share my run numbers I do cash envelope stuffings for my variable funds and my sinking funds some savings challenges and I also give you guys debt updates on my own personal financial journey so if that's content you may be into do me a favor and hit that subscribe button don't forget that notification bell so you don't miss the next time I post by the title of today's video you can see I am going to be doing a cash envelope stuffing of my sinking funds in the amount of $109 while currently being on a low income budget. So let's go ahead and get straight into today's money count and then we can get to cash stuff in our envelopes. So again, we have a total of 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So $109, again, that we're going to be cash stuffing for our sinking funds. And as I mentioned earlier, I am on a low income budget. So this is what I have to be able to stuff into my cash envelopes um, today. I do take money out from my actual paycheck for my sinking funds and then any of my additional income from like YouTube pay or side hustle. Um, I'll add some of that into my sinking funds as well. So I did uh, previously make a video on the top five sinking funds that I think everyone should have in 2023. So if you haven't checked out that video, then make sure you check that out as well. I actually have a total of seven sinking funds, but today I'm only going to be cashed up in about, I think it's four or five of them. Um, and I'll kind of later explain why. So let's go ahead and get my sinking fund binder open and then we can get straight into our cash envelope stuffing. So the first um, envelope in my binder that I am gonna be cash stuffing today is my vacation envelope. Now, um, as you guys can see, it is empty and I did just come back from a family vacation. We went to a small getaway house or a getaway cabin, you guys, and it was so amazing. I shared some pictures on my instagram and also on the community post you guys it was so rejuvenating so refreshing and just relaxing to say the least um 2022 for myself has just not been the best year so it was definitely a much needed vacation for me and i'm definitely looking forward to all the upcoming vacations um that i have planned for 2023 and for it as well so i do like to go ahead and put uh, I am going to be going ahead and putting money into my vacation envelope to kind of get a head start on that. I haven't set any sinking fund goals, so I don't know what my goal amount is and how much I should put, be putting in for each single month. So consider this just like a head start for 2023 sinking funds, um, which is what today's cash stuffing is really going to be. So let's go ahead and put the $40 into our vacation envelope and i don't know where we're going just yet but i do know we always like to go somewhere um either local or a little distance away for spring break so that's usually in march so i need to kind of accelerate the process a little bit and i have three months to kind of do that so i need to figure out where we're going how much we're going to need and etc so i can put that money aside and then try to generate some additional income as well so let me go ahead and update my um tracker while i'm at it as well and you guys make sure you stay to the end of the video because i have some really really exciting news um to share with you guys and i think you're really gonna like it so today is the 24th Oh my gosh, you guys. And when you see this video, it's going to be Christmas. So Merry Christmas, everyone. Or if you don't celebrate, happy holidays. I hope you guys have an amazing holiday, spending time with your family, and you have everything that you want and need this holiday season and are just prepared to start off 2023 just amazing you guys so i hope you're enjoying the time you're spending with your family um if you made it this far already let me know in the comments what do you guys typically do on christmas day i know a lot of people actually like do celebrate on christmas eve but 
some people actually do Christmas Day. So like myself, I'm going to my mom's house and we're doing like a game day on Christmas Day. And then on Christmas Eve, we normally go to my husband's grandma's house and that's kind of where his family goes. And we do like celebrations um, there on Christmas Eve. So it's two different days for us, but let me know how you guys do it in your family as well. So the next envelope that I'm gonna be cash envelope stuffing today, you guys, is my car maintenance. And let me give you guys a quick story time on my car maintenance. Um, this was probably last week this actually happened to me. So last week, I was um, dropping my nephew off, stopped at Little Caesars to get my nieces and nephews a pizza. And you guys, my car did not turn on at all. So I had like at least, I want to say like five kids in my car, including my own and it was just a hot mess express, let me tell you, because we were stuck for like two hours and it turns out that my battery actually died, you guys. And so I had to wait to get a jump and it, it was just so overwhelming. And so I didn't know it was actually my battery. I was like, well, maybe it's cause I was sitting in the car, et cetera, et cetera. So then the next day, it was my daughter's actual birthday. Um, so this had to be a few days ago. So it was my daughter's birthday and I was at the store and it did it again. So my car died again. It was super early in the morning. So I had to call my husband to actually give me a jump. And then we went to celebrate my daughter's birthday. And then the next day, I just took it up to AutoZone and it was in fact my battery. So it was it ended up being like $237 for a new battery. But let me tell you the importance of an emergency fund. I was not stressed about not, you know, needing a new battery. The guy was like, Yeah, your battery's dead, you need a new one. And I was like, let's do it. And and that was the the gist of it. So I wasn't overwhelmed or I wasn't like tear down because I had to spend $237 because my emergency fund saved me in this case. Because as you guys can see, I only had $44 in my car maintenance envelope. So definitely not enough to take care of that battery. Um, but my emergency fund again, took care of that. So today I'm going to be putting in just $6 for my car maintenance. And that's just because I want to go ahead and get it up to $50. I am going to try to put <clears throat> at least, let's say like $40 or $50 per month in this envelope. And that's just because uh, I know in like August is usually when my registration is due. Um, but if I do kind of run into a scenario like that again, then I'm better prepared. Like I said, I have that emergency fund, <clears throat> but it would have been nice to have the um the funds in my car maintenance because that's really what it's for but again i'm just super glad that i had that at least had my emergency funds set aside for that so that's my car maintenance you guys and again make sure you have one if you don't i think it was ended up being like the original battery on my car so the battery was five years old already um so again not too stressed about that one now i do have um a date night seeking funds for my husband and i so i'm going to be sharing some of my goals for us in 2022 in the next couple not 2022 2023 in the next couple videos so for now i'm not going to be putting anything in here now i am going to be putting something into my kids envelope you guys and i have three children and let me tell you, um, they are not cheap. <laughs> um, if you have children, then you know they can be very, very expensive. And so one of the things that I recently realized is that um, I need to figure out some kind of way in my budget to give my children more money. And when I say give them more money, I'm not referring to like just handing it over to them. But in the cases where they need funds, you guys, because... When they need clothes and shoes, like I get so overwhelmed because I just don't have enough money set aside for that. So I'm thinking if I could just put like $100 per aside per kid, like every season or like twice a year. Um, I don't know, maybe like every season because I think that's more appropriate. But just putting more money aside for them so I can get them the things that they actually need. A lot of times I'm just kind of like, okay, it's not you know you it still fits like your shoes are fine um but i really need to get better with being able to 
actually you know provide a little bit better for them when it comes to things like buying them new clothes and etc so today i'm putting in 10 20 30 35 40 45 46 47 48 49 50 so 50 dollars i'm putting into my kids envelope um and again that that's a lot better than i normally do um i usually put like ten dollars a piece which i know this goes fast um because they do ask for like little things here and there but again Clothes are a necessity, <clears throat> and I need to better prepare for that, especially in 2023. So let me go ahead and update this. 12.24, and we put in $50. So now they have $50. And then the last of my sinking funds that I'm actually going to put money aside. So nothing in holidays uh, for now, but for a birthday. My mom's, I don't have any January birthdays Um that I need to put money aside for. But my mom's birthday is coming up in February and I always like to get her at least something. I don't have to, but she's my mom, you guys, and she's really the best. So she deserves <laughs> everything under the sun and I just cannot wait to be able to spoil her. So what I had left um, is 10, 11, 12, $13. Then I'm gonna go ahead and put aside for her to kind of kickstart the money that I need to be able to treat my mom for her birthday in um, February. So let's go ahead and update that. And then I'm going to update my tracker. And then I'm going to share the exciting news with you guys. Um, so give me like two seconds. 12, 24. And then we put in $13. Oh, and then that means we have $13 left, not zero. All right, $13. So that is the sinking funds cash stuffing, you guys. Um, and as promised, I have some super exciting news. I am doing a collaboration giveaway with Lay from Motherhood and Finances, you guys. And so you are actually going to be having a chance to win five different prizes, you guys. That is amazing. That is a lot more than a lot of giveaways are giving away um, at one time. But I am doing a collaboration giveaway with motherhood and finances and so the five prizes that you can win you guys we have a cash envelope set like for variable expenses there's a savings challenge set a holiday slash sinking fund um, set of envelopes i'm giving away my very own um, savings challenge book that has over 13 savings challenges and helps you save over ten thousand dollars like at a realistic pace and then because we do realize we have both U.S. and international subscribers, we're throwing in a $20 gift card of your choice for our international subscribers, you guys. Aren't those amazing gifts, you guys? It is the perfect way to go ahead and jumpstart your 2023 finances. And you guys, we just want to help you out with that. So with that being said, um, there are a few rules to the giveaway. So you have to be 18 years or older and public publicly subscribe to both my channel and also Lay's channel which is motherhood and finances and i'll have it linked in the description box below as well make sure you like this video and you're going to leave a comment with the emoji for what you want to be entered for so if you want the cash envelopes or the regular set so it comes with things like groceries gas um family fun activities, then you're going to drop a red heart emoji. If you want the savings challenge envelope set, so that one comes with four different savings challenges. And um, if you want that set, then you're going to be putting in a money bag emoji. If you want the holiday slash sinking funds set of envelopes, which I think comes with like 11 envelopes, um, then you're going to put these eyes with the stars or so like a star struck um emoji and i'll have everything linked in the description box below you guys as well um just in case you forget um, my savings challenge book you're just going to put a book emoji and then for our international subscribers only uh the gift card you're just going to put a card or credit card emoji as well now all of the physical products are domestic shipping only and so that's why we're throwing in that 20 dollars gift card for our international subscribers so again you guys make sure you're 18 or older publicly subscribe to both my channel and lace channel like this video 
and then leave a comment of what you what you want to be answered um, for it. Now you can enter every single one if you want to. Uh, well, with the exception of the international one, but you can enter as many of the prizes as you want to. We just want to make sure that whoever the winners are, you are being entered for something that you actually want and that you can see yourself using. So again, you guys go ahead and enter into the giveaway. It is going to run from today until December the 30th. And then the winners will be announced in our video on December the 31st. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing to the channel. Make sure you like this video and don't forget the notification bell, you guys, so you don't miss the next time I post. Good luck, everyone, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.